saying is that there absolutely are entire communities of feral people living in these national parks. You can't believe that's true. Look at how many people go missing every year in these parks. Hundreds. And I'm sorry, but not every case gets picked up by TikTok for you, Sarah. There's an organization for these kinds of things, Nick. You know, the park rangers. That's the thing. The park rangers are in on it. They protect these people from the tourists. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> There are vast sections of these parks where they don't let anyone in, no matter what. And you're just gonna sit there and tell me that I'm wrong. What could they be hiding that the rest of the park doesn't have? Maybe that's where the real dangerous animals are at. Grizzly bears, mountain lions, steep cliffs. And the feral people. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just say that this is true. <laughs> they sound like your kind of people, Nick. <laughs> Okay, I mean, of all of us here, you're the one that likes camping and hiking and all that stuff. No way. I like the internet and showering. That's a level of extreme I won't do. I still feel like all that climbing you do on your own is asking for trouble. You don't even turn your phone GPS on when you go on these weeks-long solo trips. What if you go missing like all those other people? Well, that's because if I die climbing a mountain, I want my last wish to be setting my closest friends on a scavenger hunt for my dead body. Wow, um, that is morbid, my dude. Look, if Charlie were here, she'd back me up. We used to be way into conspiracies back in the day. Speaking of, has anyone heard from her at all? Well, I, I sent her the text that I sent you all, with all the details, and she just sent her classic maybe. We know maybe. what that means. Maybe she's met someone. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, I've gotten her out for a movie a few times, but I think she's just kind of struggling with some stuff, you know? Like, she got laid off, and then whatever the thing with Evan was. But I've been through it before with her, and I'll get her back with us, don't you worry. But, uh, one second. So are we going in? Are you gonna go in? Okay, is somebody going in? It's getting hot. No. Yes. I don't know. I mean, I want to. Why can't I just get out of this car? It feels like I'm going to a stranger's house, not just Kate's house. Because they moved on. Look in that window. What do you see? I see a person hosting some friends who's trying to forget that their bridesmaid has written them off. A group of friends that doesn't need a you anymore. I haven't written her off. I've just found it hard to work up the courage to confront her about things. And plus, I'm not that selfish. I don't expect them to be acting differently without me around. But you've put in an effort over the years to stay friends. Kate hasn't put in any, right? No. Look, it's not that simple. When your friendship spans over a decade, there's layers to this. <laughs> layers? Like when your best friend straight up drops you from their life a year ago? Stares you in the eyes and says, I don't want to be friends anymore type thing. There were a lot of factors that came into play with how that went down. I still can't wrap my head around it the audacity to go to someone else's house and say that to their face with zero regrets. Respect. <sighs> Screw it. Let's just go get food and take it home. I can't do this yet. So let me get this straight. 
We just left a gathering with your friends to come home and eat shitty fast food alone. And you want to remain friends with these people? Why? You've got me. I just feel like I need my friends. Mm. Maybe I'll be ready by the big 4th of July cookout. I mean, what? It's only a couple weeks away. I could do that. You think they're gonna even invite you? You've been blowing them off like what? Four years now? I was in a state of crisis. Was? Sweetie, you still are. I mean, all you do is sit at home, drink and watch movies. It's who you are. Now wait a minute. What do you know? You've never even met my friends. I'm not sure they even know that you exist. And you never even fully moved in until after all this mess started. And ever since, you've been trying to control my life. You are a sad, lost little girl. And I found you. Plus, I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. Think of me as more of a life coach instead of a roommate. Show some appreciation, will ya? I just feel like you're being extremely judgmental of people you've literally never met. So I'm judgmental. I'm basing my opinion off what you've told me. So either you're lying or I'm right. Whatever. I can't with you anymore. Don't defend them if they're not worth defending, Charlie. Why are you in my bed? I was just thinking, if a medium drink and a large drink cost the same, why even offer the medium drink? What? It's redundant. Why would you pay the same price to get less drink? Just don't finish it. What does this have to do with anything? in the drive-thru. I was looking at the menu. <laughs> okay. Are you really keeping me up at 11.38 p.m.? Just curious. When was the last time you went on a date? Or even talked to anyone? I don't know. I was talking to someone, but... It's been a while. I don't know. If you can't even hang out with your friends, how could you go on a date? I mean, I could date someone if I wanted to. It's just... Complicated. Yeah, everything is so complicated right now. I'm playing life on hard mode. It'd be pretty funny to watch you flirt. <laughs> or imagine you trying to dance at a club. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do this in the morning, please? I'm trying to sleep. Okay, fine. I'll go. But just think. You could be sharing this bed with someone else. Someone not me. We all have needs. Mm. Maybe it would be better for you than hanging out with your friends. Think about it. Good night. Good night. You take long showers. What do you do for so long in there? Oh gosh, were you crying again? What do you want? Just trying to see if you had any job interviews for today. Yeah, just one. Why? Didn't want to bring it up, but somebody's got to keep this place running. And the longer you don't have a job, the bigger gap in your resume, in this economy. Are you still going to be able to pay rent? Because I'm not looking to move right now. That would not be good for me. Mm, okay. Uh, well, I'm sorry that my unemployment is causing so much worry in your life right now. Mine is just great over here. 
<laughs> You're gonna have to move in with your parents, aren't you? No. I'll figure something out. Now, can you please get out? I need to change. Change? You got some grand plan for today? What, sitting on the couch and watching movies? Actually, Nick and I are gonna meet up and play pickleball. Nick. The same Nick that was at the party that you didn't go to? Yeah, well, he called me up and asked to meet, and I figured if he's going to make an effort, well, so can I. Hmm. Oh, please. He probably just drew the short straw. He's gonna have to tell you off for being such a flake. No. Not Nick. Probably why we've been friends through all this despite everything. He probably just wants to see if he can beat me at my new favorite sport. <laughs> okay, Roddick. Don't blow a knee. Mm. Hey, how was the party this weekend? Oh, it was pretty good. You should have been there. Yeah, I know. I was planning on it. I really was, I just wasn't feeling well. Is it like a lactose thing? Mm, I don't know. I just get these stomach pains, you know? What? You're really not good at this. Well, no, nah, not really. Uh, actually, this is my first time playing, so. Oh, well, you should have said something. I would have tried to help you out. Well. Honestly, I kind of knew it was the only way to get you out of the house for a bit, so. So, this was just a setup? You didn't actually just want to hang out? No, it's not like that. I'm actually starving. You want to, like, go get something to eat? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Well, how does the snack shack sound in, like, an hour? Sounds good. I'll see you there. Cool. Hey, how'd your interview go? Oh, you know, as well as the others. So, um, I'm gonna be grabbing a bite to eat with Nick here in a little bit, so I will be back later. You accepted an invite to a pity party? How pathetic. <laughs> You're such a sucker. How does agreeing to get dinner with a friend make me a sucker? I mean, have you ever actually had any real friends? You're just gonna love to hear about how awfully sad <laughs> your life is going. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe a change of scenery will be good for me. Don't call if you need me. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I don't need you. You need me. Yeah. Remember that. All right. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. It's just Nick. He's been there for you before, and he's trying to be there for you now. You can do this. Well, I was starting to think you were gonna flake on me. Yeah, I'm here. Mm-hmm. But did you see those prices? Mm-hmm. I know, the city keeps growing, and the prices do too. Yeah. Um. Hey, thank you again for spotting me. Yeah, um, no problem. I don't have the money in my bank account right now, but I still don't have a job. It, you know, Charlie, I'm just gonna come out and ask you because if I don't, it's gonna bug me. Um, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, like, are you though? Like, you can't buy yourself a snow cone. You haven't hung out with us in a while, and you just can't be that busy all the time. Well, I promise 
that it has nothing to do with you guys. It's just, um, it's my roommate. Roommate? Since when did you get a roommate? You know, I've had one for the past couple years, but here recently, she's just gotten worse. I mean, she's super dependent. She's worried about all of the life choices that I'm making to a crazy extent. <sighs> Wants me to follow only her advice. I'm just, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, you yeah, kick him out. Like, what do you mean you don't know you want? What do I do? Wait, this person sounds like a parasite, Charlie, not a roommate. It's not that easy. I mean, I've tried. I've tried asking her to leave. I've tried ignoring her. I've tried everything that I can think of. And with how it's been lately, I'm afraid she could hurt me. She could hurt you? Charlie, look, we all miss being around you. And honestly, I'm a little hurt you didn't come ask us for help, like, especially if you're not feeling safe. I know. I'm sorry, and you know, with that whole Evan situation, I figured if he dropped me that quickly, well then, why wouldn't my friends? Yeah, what happened with Evan sucks, and you know, I don't really know much about the situation, but I just feel something was off about him from like the very beginning. And like at the end of the day, a true friend's just gonna be there, you know? Yeah. And like, I just think that if you would talk to the others about it, especially Kate, that you'd find a lot of this tension can be erased pretty quickly just by talking it out like adults. You're right. I just need to focus and come up with a plan. I mean, things work out if you have a plan, right? Well, I'm like a dog chasing cars. I don't know what I do if I can catch one. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I've been living my life these past couple years. Great movie, mm -hmm. but not a great way to live. Let's just eat this food then. And then after that, you go do what you need to do, okay? And actually do it. And you call me if you need someone else to come get this roommate out, okay? Okay. And thank you. Uh, this has been super helpful. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you. Thought I'd catch you in your spot. Did you have a nice uh, pep talk with Nick? About how you've been ignoring your friends? What the hell's wrong with you? This isn't working, Annie. What's not? This. My situation. You. You living here. It's not working. It's not right. So let me get this straight. You go out to eat and get a lecture one time and suddenly your world has changed? That's not how it works, Charlie. But, you know, maybe that's how it needs to work. I feel like a truck that's been spinning its tires in the mud for months now. And I can't break out of it. That's because you're a loser, Charlie. A jobless, friendless loser. People like you don't get to drive on the roads. They get stuck in the mud. But I don't want to be a loser. I just want things to be like how they were. Simpler. Fun. And what did that get you? You were supposedly happy, and you still lost your job. You lost your friends. But it's not that bad here with me. You get to eat, drink, and watch all the movies. That's not what I mean. That's not... Oh, I'm just tired! I'm tired of this! Stop acting like things are just going to get better. Look around! Look at you. What is there to improve? You can't just pretend your way through life. 
You're not even living a life worth living. You're pathetic. Fuck you. Hey, look. Can we talk about last night, please? I'm sorry, can we please talk about last night? I'm sorry, can we please talk about last night? You're really gonna be like that. Talk to me, please! Charlie? Been? Been busy. Busy? With what? Your new life? Yeah, Annie. I'm taking my life back. Do you feel threatened? Does it burn you deep down knowing that you're not the one calling the shots? Controlling my every move? The only burning I feel is the desire to watch us all blow up in your face and watch you come crawling back to me like you always do. You big pathetic baby. What, are you the queen of health now? Things are gonna change around here. But you hate change. Yeah, I do. I hate change and it makes me uncomfortable. But you know what else I'm starting to hate? You. Your existence. Ugh! My existence is the only thing that's kept you alive and out of the gutter, you ungrateful slob! Charlie? Uh, hi Kate. What are you doing here? Uh, I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd stop by. You haven't just stopped by since Claire was born. Right, um, how is the little kid? She's three now. Right, yeah. Um, so I wanted to apologize for not making it to the party the other day. Uh... It's okay. Um... Nick told us about your roommate situation and we didn't know and Eric and I, we think about you all the time. Yeah, don't be. It's fine, really. It's my problem, not yours. Do you wanna come inside and meet Claire? Eric's busy, but I'm sure you and I have a lot to catch up on. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Who the hell is Albert Hernstein? Theory of relativity. Listen, you big twat, there is nothing Nothing you can do that would take me out of your life. I make the decisions, I tell you what you need to hear, and there's nothing you can do that would possibly change that. You are stuck with me, and you're gonna fucking like it. See, Annie? That's where you're wrong. I'm not alone anymore. What? Are you an Avenger or something? I'm not gonna let you be this giant cloud over my life anymore. And it's going to end. Now I'm going to bed.
It's not even nine. I can't believe how much progress you've made in just two weeks of appointments. Thank you. I really think I'm looking forward to this cookout. I think you'll do great, and you need to tell me all about it at your next appointment. I will. Take care. Thank you. Hey. Hey, here you go. I think you'll want some of this. Uh, actually, I'm cutting back on that. All right. Hey, uh, thanks for the invite. I brought cookies. Uh, yeah, they can go right here next to the snacks. We've got burgers and hot dogs on the grill. Sounds great. Um, anything else I should do? Well, there might be some people here who are a bit overdue on a conversation. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Charlie. We're really glad you're here.